The load campaign button in the upper left hand corner is where you will go to select any game or any campaign that you have already created in the past. So to start a game that you want to run, click on load campaign. Uh, here are all of my different uh, campaigns that I have. As you can see, I have a few and there's no limit to how many campaigns that you can have. So if I want to start my Fantasy Grounds 5e campaign, all I would simply do is just select this. It will highlight it. Then you will also see that the extensions box will populate a bunch of decals, themes, skins, etc. And all you do is you just select what you want to select and just make sure you only have uh, one skin or one theme selected at a time because usually that would possibly cause some issues. Activate any extensions that you download from the Fantasy Grounds forums. And also, if you have any officially licensed content, uh, there may be some decals involved and you can select all of these decals that you want. There's no limit on how many decals that you can select and you can spruce up and decorate the skin inside of the game with these decals. So that is how you load a campaign. Once you have your uh, campaign that you want to run, make sure you have your extensions. Uh, it will tell you the rule set here, which is D&D 5th edition. Here is the password that you will want to use if you are hosting your game in our cloud. You can have you change your name to whatever you want, your real life, your real life name, your game name, etc. If you want to not use our cloud, then you would select LAN. You can still make a password, change your name, but you will want to use your internal IP address down here for, you know, for use for giving to your players so they can join your Fantasy Grounds game. So just remember, if you do decide to run something privately or locally on your own machine, then you will be responsible to do any kind of port forwarding as needed. So we recommend just using the cloud. Uh, it eliminates the need to and the, all that hassle to port forward. So there you go, everybody. That is how to load a campaign with the Fantasy Grounds Unity Virtual Tabletop Program.